So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about what to do if your motor is stalling when it's idling and the motor is cold. You just started it up at the beginning of the day and uh, it starts, revs up, and you take your foot off the gas and instead of dropping down to about 800 RPMs, it just stalls. Um, basically, at idle, a motor needs to get a very little bit of gas and a very little bit of air. Uh, so it's one of those two things that's not right. If it's not getting enough gas, it probably wouldn't start at all. Um, and it could be a problem with your, your fuel pump not putting enough uh, pressure, not enough pressure in the fuel lines. Um, if that's not the problem, it's probably not getting enough air. So this video is going to focus on that. Um, the way the, a modern engine gets air during when it's idling is through something called the idle control valve. Uh, this happened to me recently, and I was able to uh, re fix the uh, defective idle control valve without replacing it and um, without spending any money. So it's a great solution. So the problem was two days ago when I got back to my car after hunting in a snowstorm, kind of the first cold weather of the year, uh, I went to start the car and it started, but it wouldn't stay running if I took my foot off the gas. It would just slow down. The motor would slow down. I did it several times, and the only way I could get the car going was to um, keep the keep my foot on the gas and kind of ride the clutch. And once once the engine was warmed up, the problem went away. Uh, but then the next morning, I tried again. Same thing happened until it warmed up. So I'm going to show you exactly what it is because this is a cold cold motor now. See that? Just slowed down and my foot was gas and it stalled out. So right there is the idle airflow controller valve. This guy here, this whole thing, there's two screws, one there and one there. Comes right off and then you got a connector, electrical connector right there. That comes off easily also. If it's not obvious where the idle control valve is, follow the air intake manifold down to where it connects to the throttle body. And right there on the throttle body, the idle control valve will be attached to the throttle body. So once you get the idle control valve taken out of the motor, turn it over and look at it from the bottom and this is what you're going to see. There's, there's two chambers that are connected in the back and there's a, there's a shutter valve which you can see here pointed to by the yellow arrow which uh, the ECM opens and closes. It opens it when the, car, when the car is idling and it closes it when, you, when the car is running at more than probably a thousand RPMs. And as you can see in this picture, uh, mine was very black and had crud all over it, and it would not move at all. Um, first of all, do not try to move it with a screwdriver or something like that. You're going to bend it, and if you bend it, then it won't turn well. But just give it a good spray with carb cleaner, really soak it completely, fill, fill that thing with carb cleaner and let it soak, and then, so fill that both chambers with carb cleaner, let it soak for a good half hour, then take a Q-tip and clean off as much of that carbon as you can, then spray it again, Q-tip it again, and just get it really nice and shiny clean. That should fix it. Here's a picture of what it should, what they look like when they're brand new. So this is, after you've cleaned it up, you basically want it to look as close to this as possible. Uh, so it's nice and clean and can operate as it should. So put it back in and see if the problem goes away. Most of the time it will. However, if it's still doing the same thing, the, th the shutter valve may still be stuck. And here's what you can do. S some of these control valves have a shiny screw at the top and you can see it in the picture here at the top. If you take that screw out, remove, the, remove it again, take that screw out. At the bottom of the screw hole is the end of the shaft that the shutter valve is on, and it's, it's got a slot in it, and you can stick a small flatbed screwdriver down the screw hole into that slot, and then you can twist it to the right and left, and you'll feel the, the, the shaft free up when you do that. 
and then twist it back and forth as you continue to put more and more um, uh, carb cleaner in there and keep spraying it in and spraying it until it until it moves really nice and easily. Um, it's spring loaded, so when you take when you uh, take the pressure off the screwdriver, it'll always snap back to the closed position. But once you get so get it so you can turn it and it snaps back easily to the closed position, then it's really nice and clean. So now I've put the cleaned uh, idle control valve back in. So let's see if it is going to idle correctly when I start the car. Here we go. Okay, it did not stall out with a cold engine, and that means it is fixed. Let's rev it. Okay, very good. Settling back down to about 800, 700 RPMs, exactly where it should be. So for no money, no cost, didn't pay the mechanic anything, I think this idle control valve is going to run for another 100,000 miles. One final note, um, my car is a 2010 Kia Soul, uh, but the good news is, is that most modern engines uh, use this, this idle control uh, valve system, and they're all very much the same. So the technique I've showed in this video is going to work on most modern engines. You just have to find that, that idle control valve, take it out, and get it, cl get it clean and get it unstuck. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I love repairs that don't cost anything. Um, I did see a post somewhere on the internet about a problem like this and the poor guy had spent $1,000 with mechanics who replaced his fuel pump, replaced, uh, they've replaced everything and cleaned everything except the idle control valve. And so he was still having the problem. I felt really bad for him. Um, hate to see that happen to anybody. So uh, put your comments below. If you have any questions, put them down there. I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. Uh, thank you.